Welcome back to the channel. Now you know I love diving deep into the latest tech, but today we're shifting gears to something just as important. Your digital security. Specifically, we're talking about the most common hacking attacks targeting Android, the most popular mobile operating system worldwide. Look, we rely on our phones for everything these days, banking, communication, even controlling our smart homes. That's why understanding the threats out there is crucial for keeping your data safe and your experience smooth. We're talking real-world scenarios, the vulnerabilities hackers exploit, and most importantly, the practical steps you can take to protect yourself. So, whether you're a seasoned techie or just starting out, stick around because this is information everyone needs to know. Let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, let's talk about Android's security landscape. Now, Android's actually designed with a multi-layered security system. You've got sandboxing, app permissions, and regular security updates, all working behind the scenes to keep things secure. Google's constantly pushing out updates, patching vulnerabilities, and making it harder for hackers to exploit the system. But here's the thing, no system is perfect. As Android evolves, so do the tactics of those looking to exploit any weaknesses they can find. And with billions of Android users out there, it's a prime target. We're talking about sophisticated malware, sneaky phishing schemes, and even attacks that can compromise your device without you even realizing it. Think about it. Your Android device holds a ton of personal information, your photos, your contacts, your browsing history, even your location data. It's all there. And for hackers, that data is incredibly valuable. They can use it for identity theft, financial fraud, or even just to sell it on the dark web. That's why it's crucial to be aware of the different types of attacks out there and understand how they work. Knowledge is power, right? Once you know what you're dealing with, you can start taking steps to protect yourself. We'll break down each attack method in detail throughout this video, but for now, just remember, awareness is key. Don't let the bad guys win. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and let's make sure your Android experience stays safe and secure. Let's dive into one of the most common threats to your Android device malware. Malware is software designed to harm your device or steal your data. Think of it like a digital virus. It can spread in many ways. You might download a malicious app, click on a suspicious link, or visit a compromised website. Once it's on your device, it can wreak havoc. It can steal your personal information like passwords and credit card details. Some malware can even control your camera and microphone. How can you tell if your device is infected? That's the tricky part. Sometimes malware operates silently in the background. Watch for red flags like slow performance, pop-up ads, and fast battery drain. To protect yourself, be careful about what you download. Stick to the official Google Play Store and avoid unknown sources. Pay attention to app permissions before installing, and always keep your device's software up to date. Next up, let's talk about phishing attacks. Phishing is when hackers trick you into giving up personal information by posing as a trustworthy source. You get an email that looks like it's from your bank, asking to verify your account details. It's got the official logo, familiar branding, but it's a fake. Hackers create these emails to lure you into clicking on malicious links. Phishing can happen through emails, texts, social media, even phone calls. The goal is to trick you into giving up sensitive information. Be wary of unsolicited messages asking for personal information. Legitimate companies won't ask for passwords over email or text. Always double check with the company directly. Better safe than sorry. All right, let's talk about man in the middle attacks or MIDI-M attacks for short. These are especially sneaky because they exploit the way we connect to the internet, specifically public Wi-Fi networks. Imagine this. You're at a coffee shop connected to their free Wi-Fi, browsing the web, maybe even doing some online banking. Seems harmless, right? But here's the thing. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, meaning your data isn't encrypted. And that's where the danger lies. With a MITM attack, a hacker essentially inserts themselves into the middle of your connection, between your device and the website or server you're trying to access. They can then intercept all the data that's being transmitted, including your passwords, credit card details, everything. Think of it like this. You're sending a postcard with your deepest secrets written on it. 
anyone who intercepts that postcard can read everything. That's essentially what's happening with an unsecured Wi-Fi connection. So how do you protect yourself? The best defense against MITM attacks is to use a VPN or virtual private network. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, creating a secure tunnel for your data, even on public Wi-Fi. It's like sending that postcard in a locked, tamper-proof envelope. Another good practice is to avoid accessing sensitive information like your bank accounts or online shopping while connected to public Wi-Fi. If you absolutely have to, make sure you're using a VPN. Chapter 5. Ransomware Attacks – The Data Hostage Situation Now let's talk about one of the scariest threats out there – ransomware. This is the digital equivalent of someone breaking into your house, changing all the locks, and then demanding you pay a ransom to get your stuff back. Here's how it works. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts your files, locking you out of your own data. Once it's infected your device, you'll often see a message demanding you pay a ransom, usually in Bitcoin or some other untraceable cryptocurrency, in exchange for the decryption key. And the worst part, even if you pay the ransom, there's no guarantee you'll actually get your files back. These hackers are criminals after all. So how can you protect yourself from this nightmare scenario? First and foremost, back up your data regularly. That way, even if your device gets infected, you'll have a copy of your important files stored somewhere safe. Just like with other types of malware, be cautious about what you click on, what you download, and what websites you visit. Ransomware can spread through malicious links, email attachments, even compromised software updates. And finally, make sure your device's software is always up to date. Those updates often include security patches that can help protect you from the latest ransomware threats. Chapter 6. Unsecured Wi-Fi Networks – Convenience at What Cost? We touched on this earlier with MITM attacks, but let's dive a little deeper into the risks of unsecured Wi-Fi networks. I know, I know, free Wi-Fi is tempting. It's everywhere these days, coffee shops, airports, hotels, and it seems harmless enough, but trust me, the risks are real. When you connect to an unsecured Wi-Fi network, your data is essentially broadcasting for anyone to see. Think of it like having a conversation in a crowded room. Anyone within earshot can listen in. And in this case, the eavesdroppers could be hackers looking to steal your personal information. We're talking about everything from your browsing history and social media logins to your online banking credentials and credit card details. And it's not just hackers you have to worry about. Some unsecured Wi-Fi networks are set up specifically to collect your data and sell it to advertisers. So what can you do to protect yourself? First and foremost, avoid connecting to unsecured Wi-Fi networks whenever possible. If you absolutely have to use public Wi-Fi, always use a VPN. It's like putting a password on your conversation in that crowded room. Another good practice is to disable automatic Wi-Fi connections. This will prevent your device from automatically connecting to any open Wi-Fi network it finds, which could be a security risk. Chapter 7. App Vulnerabilities Even Legitimate Apps Can Be Risky Okay, we've talked a lot about malware and phishing attacks, but here's the thing. Even legitimate apps can pose a security risk to your Android device. How? Through app vulnerabilities. Now, app developers work hard to create secure apps, but sometimes vulnerabilities slip through the cracks. These vulnerabilities are essentially flaws in the code that hackers can exploit to gain access to your device or steal your data. Think of it like a weak spot in a castle wall. Hackers are constantly on the lookout for these weak spots, and once they find one, they can exploit it to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access. The good news is that app developers are usually quick to patch these vulnerabilities once they're discovered. But here's the catch. You have to make sure you're actually installing those updates. So how can you protect yourself from app vulnerabilities? First and foremost, always download apps from official sources like the Google Play Store. Avoid downloading apps from third-party app stores as they often have less stringent security measures. Pay attention to the app permissions before you install anything. Does a simple calculator app really need access to your camera and microphone? Probably not. Be wary of apps that request more permissions than they need to function. And finally, keep your apps up to date. Those updates often include crucial security patches that can help protect you from the latest vulnerabilities. Outro, stay safe, stay secure. So there you have it. 
a rundown of some of the most common Android hacking attacks out there. It might seem like a lot to keep track of, but trust me, taking a few simple precautions can go a long way in protecting your device and your personal information. Remember, awareness is key. Stay informed about the latest threats, practice safe browsing habits, and be cautious about what you download and install. And if something feels off, it probably is. Don't be afraid to double check, verify, and take the extra step to protect yourself. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and security advice. And as always, stay safe out there in the digital world.